What's up? I am Biggs, and I want to say thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. Do me a favor and hit the thumbs up, give me a like, and help that YouTube algorithm boost it up a little bit. And while you're there, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Keep coming back, keep visiting me, leave me a comment or two, let me know what you think of the video, and don't go anywhere. Because of what I've been going through over the past few months, I have decided to write myself some letters and kind of trigger some thoughts in my own head. I need to talk to myself, but I'm, I'm going to do it out loud. And I think the things that I have to say might help somebody out there. So I hope you like this. I hope maybe it uh, resonates with you a little bit. And if you feel like it, like the video on YouTube, share the video on YouTube or share the post on Facebook. Subscribe to my channel because my whole purpose is to also build my YouTube channel at the same time while I'm trying to inspire people So this letter to myself the very first one that I've decided to do is about being a good person over the last few months A lot of people are, have been supporting me. I've had a huge support group I've Had a lot of people that have had my back and the whole point is that people seem to reiterate over and over again is that I'm a good person so I didn't even really know what good person means that's kind of a vague statement I know their intentions are, are pure and wholesome and these people really want nothing but the best for me but good people what are good people so I decided to dissect that and break it down a little bit and I wrote myself this letter based on what it means to me to be a good person I am Biggs obviously you're here on my channel you're watching because Maybe you're my friend, maybe you're somebody that cares about me, or maybe you're a perfect stranger and for some reason you need a simple reminder of what it means to be a good person. So I wrote myself this letter from Biggs to Paul. Paul's my real name uh, because I've been going through a lot of bad things in life lately and it's really brought me down and created a lot of depression and a lot of anger and a lot of sadness and I'm really trying to push all of the bad karma, the bad energy out of me and focus on the good energy. So here's the letter. Dear Paul, being a good person doesn't mean posting your good on Facebook. It means being a good person in the real world and not having to talk about it. You never see a good father post on Facebook, I'm a great dad and I don't care what anyone thinks. That's seeking validation because of insecurities. That's trying to overcompensate for shortfalls or trying to be a band-aid on a bigger problem. People who are about it don't talk about it they be about it. You definitely should know your self-worth better than anyone else. Stop making excuses to be okay with who you are when things you do hurt people that you love the most. If you're always talking about your self-worth on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or TikTok, who are you trying to convince? You're constantly needing validation. You constantly need a pat on the back from people you hardly ever speak to. People that are only there to like or to heart what you post but never really reach out when you really need them? Are those the people you need support from? People that don't really know you at all? Or is it the people in your everyday life that are always there for you that you really should be paying attention to? Being a good person really isn't that hard. It's not. Unfortunately, it just doesn't happen. It's not something we can control like a light switch. Even good people get discouraged. They get depressed. We're all human. Like anything else, you have to want to be a good person. You have to want to make good choices for yourself and the people that matter to you. No matter where you're at in life, you can make a choice to change. In relationships, there's a difference between being a good person and being a nice person. You see, the nice person might try to stay in a relationship for too long, attempting to hang on to something that isn't there, or convince the other person not to give up. A truly good person will be honest in their relationship and they'll move it forward when things are going well. They'll also end it when the time comes. It's hard. It's really difficult, if not impossible sometimes, to live up to your own standards or your own morals when a relationship is dragging you down. Be honest about how you feel and stay loyal when you're committed. Also, don't take a good person for granted. If you've got someone that loves you so much that they dedicate their lives to trying to make your life better, cherish it. These people are a rare breed. You're not gonna find people like this every day. Don't make the mistake of lying. 
Don't be shady. Choosing a quick time over a real lifetime commitment. The person's there trying to make for you. Don't take people for granted, man. That's not being a good person at all. Good people compliment others when it's deserved. This doesn't mean giving praise on social media for every filtered picture. It doesn't mean liking or clicking on a heart on a person's Facebook post. A real, genuine compliment. Good people understand that others need praise. We all like to feel good about ourselves. Complimenting is not only a good thing to do, but it's also a sign that you can be excited for other people's wins. A truly good person will compliment when deserved, but they'll also give constructive criticism when it's necessary as well. Those friends that want you to party all the time, they may have you thinking that they're good people in your life, but that one good friend that is giving you a reason to think about your decisions, don't let that person go. You might need them in a corner someday. More than you know now, you might need them to be there for you. Don't push them out of your life. Here's another thing about good people. They have good relationships with their family. I'm gonna say that again. They have good relationships with their family. They call their parents regularly. If their parents are still here, if not, I'm sure they still talk to them. But being respectful and grateful to your parents is truly a great thing. It's easy to get busy and let life get in your way. It's easy to think your parents could have or should have done better with you. So you pass on them just like another person that tries to hold you down. But always remember, they brought you into this world and you're listening to this right now because of them. Genuine people that are good, make sure they check in with their parents on a regular basis when they can and their siblings as well. Of course, there are exceptions to this, but are you a really good person if your parents have been trying to reach out to you and you constantly ignore them? Maybe they weren't the best parents, but are you being the best person you can be by ignoring them? And the next part, one of the most deceiving parts in my opinion, good people are polite. They show respect and they have manners. They put the comfort of others before themselves. They are not selfish in their ways. It's not to be a show off. It's not to seem better than anyone else. There's humility that has to come with that. They just really respect humans and want to treat them the way they want to be treated. It's not about being formal or walking on eggshells. It's more of knowing the right place and the right time and doing what fits the scenario. In a relationship sense, if they're afraid to be around your parents, most likely it's because they're afraid they're going to say something wrong. Good people don't have this fear. They have this confidence in knowing that they will always do the right thing. Good people remember their manners, whether it's waiting until everyone has their food at the table before they eat opening the door for others to walk through proper manners definitely are not out of style truly good people understand the importance of their actions and always remember their manners good people think of others it's really easy especially in this world where we've been hurt we've been walked on and taken advantage of so much to do what's best for you and forget about the people that are there for you every single day honest and genuine good people consider others in their decisions always they always think about how it's going to affect the people in their lives before they do something they understand that's what's good for them or what feels good to them or what's fun for them may not always be the best for others like if somebody's in a relationship and the other person is really uncomfortable with something the good person is not going to allow that to happen around them especially in their home they don't have to cater exclusively to others i'm not saying that at all but instead they understand and take into consideration how their actions will affect others and they're comfortable switching it up so they don't cause any damage or pain to the relationship. Consistency. Good people are consistent. This doesn't mean that they're always doing whatever it, it was that made them say, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. They're consistent in changing behavior that hurts the people that love them. Our first impression is a lasting impression. By being consistent in what you do, when you're truly a good person, you will always put your best foot forward and treat every person and situation the same. You're not going to turn your back on someone just because it's fun for you at the time. You're not going to repeatedly say one thing and then do something completely different. That's not the type of consistency I'm talking about. Being a good person is not tough, but it does take a willingness to stay focused and stay on track. Good people don't take things for granted. 
Being a truly good person is an ongoing challenge, a never-ending pursuit. It's something that has to be sharpened and improved constantly. We all have bad days, but getting back up and picking up where you left off is the most important part. Being a good person means understanding what you've done that hurts someone and making sure it doesn't happen again. Don't take friends, family, love, or relationships for granted and think because you screwed up one time and they forgive you that it's a past to keep screwing up. Stop thinking you're so broken that it's an excuse to continue to be broken. Stop taking the people that love you and want to be there for you in your life for granted. It's simple. It's real simple. Now, speaking of people that love you, good people are kind to loved ones. Sometimes you can be great to others, but treat the ones that really love you the most, the worst. A truly good person doesn't take out their problems on their loved ones. They're just as pleasant at home as they are in the public's eye. If you call yourself a good person, be it. If you call yourself a good friend, then be it. You don't always have to spend all your time with the friends that think you're the life of the party and doing things you know hurts someone is not being a good friend at all. If you've got kids, being a good person is always wanting the best for those kids. Not just better than what you had, but the best. If your actions and decisions are leading by example, your kids are going to want to be good people too. Don't fail them. If you have a significant other, being a good person means always putting their feelings first. You want them to love you the way they did when you first met, don't you? If you want them to have that same spark and that same feeling and that same emotion and that same love and that same strength and that same compassion, don't chase them away. Don't be a bad person and take them for granted because you're going to lose it. You're going to lose yourself. Being a good person means staying on point, staying focused, but you have to remember the people that love you and the people that are there for you. Don't take that for granted. Don't take kindness for weakness. Be the person you promise to be. Bad people reel others into the spider, like a spider web catching a bug. Don't trap people, and once you have them, start doing shady stuff. Once they're in love with you, don't break promises. Don't lie. Simple, easy things good people just don't do. Good people make the best out of every situation. In every situation, there are going to be positive things and there will be negative things. That's just how the world works. The yin and the yang, the fire and the water. Being a good person doesn't mean ignoring the negatives, but always finding ways to improve and become better because they learn from the bad things, and that's truly what being a good person comes down to. Go the extra mile. A truly good person makes sure the task gets done. They always go the extra mile. If it's a project, a paper, an essay, if it's DJing at an event, be there ahead of time, not just on time. Be ready to put your best forward. Always look for room to improve. Always go above and beyond the expectations. It could be staying and helping clean up after an event. It could be spending more time with your kids, making sure they're getting the best grades they can. It could mean saying no to the people that want you to party and being there for a friend when they need you instead. Even if it's not so much fun for you, good people are less concerned with fun and more concerned with real. Taking some extra time to make sure things are done the right way instead of the easy way. A good person understands how important it is to finish what they started. You made a commitment to someone? Keep it. Bottom line is if you say you are a good person, then be a good person. If you know you're not a good person, you know what you can do to become a better person. You know what it takes to be a good person. Don't just sit around letting people pat you on the back when things get bad and you post something on Facebook. Paul, stop it. Stop reaching out for validation from people that don't really know who you are and focus on the people that do. Those are the people that are paying attention on a regular basis. Those are the people that are in your life every single day. If the world around you puts you up on some pedestal, if they label you a good person, then you've got a role to live up to whether you like it or not. Don't try to convince others that you're good when you're not. That's only fake, and in all reality, you're only lying to yourself. Don't talk about it. Just be about it. Paul, I love you. 
I know you are a good person. I know you have your flaws and you get beat down. I know you're worn out just like anyone else is. But don't let people beat you down to the point where you doubt yourself. You have a lot of people that love you in this world. Even if the person you want to love you the most decided not to, it is not your fault. You know you did what you could to be a good person to them and the people in their lives. But you were also right not dealing with broken promise after broken promise and not letting the lies and broken promises damage you anymore. You loved beyond most people's capabilities. You deserve credit for doing what you could. You can't make someone love you. And as unfair as it might seem, you have to pick yourself up. Be the good person that you know you are. Love yourself so that you can love others. And don't give up. Never give up hoping. Never give up believing in a better tomorrow. It's what keeps you going. People need you to remind them that once in a while too. I love you. I love you. I love you. Paul, thank you for being you. That's my letter for today. I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe. Share it with somebody if it hits something, if it resonates with you, if you feel it. And uh, hit the little bell notification so you get notifications when I post videos so you don't miss the next one. That's it.